honey buzz it is jan and i want to come in and talk to you guys about the best office setup what a great time to do this you guys it is approximately like 11 03 i am literally off the clock at 11. now the reason why i want to come in and talk to you guys about the best um office setup is because i just had to do uh overtime at home and I had to make sure that everything that I needed was accessible. Of course, I did because um, me working from home has been a thing that has been a planned thing. And I just wanted to make sure before I actually started doing it that I would actually have everything that I need. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the things that you're going to need too. The first thing that you're going to need is you guys, you're going to need a designated space. When I come in here, this is a room, okay? When I come in here, I know that it's time to work. Okay, now I know everybody may not have the opportunity to have a room, but I need, at least need you to have a designated space for when you're going to be out here working from home, whether it's going to be for your job or whether it's going to be for your business. Okay, the second thing I'm going to need you to have is make sure that you have fast internet. Okay, none of this using your hotspot off of your phone, none of this. I'm going to sit at the coffee shop. Trust me, I've done it all. Okay, that's why I'm saying it. I'm no shade, I'm just telling you that. Yes, those are things, okay, hotspot and, and being at, at Starbucks and all that, that's great for temporary, but that is not good for if you're going to be running a full-blown business or if you're going to be working from home, you definitely want to have um, the fastest internet that you can possibly have, okay? The next thing you're going to need to have is a desktop, a laptop, a computer, something. Like, literally, I was just uh, providing um, one of the supervisors with some of my information and my computer really literally just died on me. Luckily for me, I have two laptops in this house now. Just one girl, two. Okay, I don't play no games. And I was able to retrieve the information that I needed to provide to my supervisor from that other laptop. So you're definitely going to need either a desktop or a laptop. Okay? The next thing you're going to need, this is kind of like a little bundle only because that's what I have, but you can get it separate. But you're definitely going to need a printer, a scanner, a fax, a copy machine. You definitely want to get that, okay? Because like literally just now I had to type something up. I needed they needed they needed a signature and a um for myself. I don't and they don't want one of the computerized signatures, so they were like you need to print it out, sign it, um scan it back over, okay? So you want to have that. But another thing that I'm going to say have here is have a um, signing software. I know there are a couple of different ones out there, but you want to have some type of signing software or have something that, that can um, digitally sign your signature, especially if you're going to be doing like contracts, reports, things like that. If they accept it, um, you definitely want to look into that. I know some of these have like fees, maybe like $5 a month, $7 a month. So that's something you want to look into. Um, on your computer, you want to have like a, a signing software so that you don't have to print sign, scan, fax, and all that. It's just already done on the computer, okay? The next thing you want to look into is have some type of sharing software. For me, luckily, uh, my um, employer, we are run off of a, um, like a, an attached, uh, detached uh, desktop. So some of the things that is in the system that I work off of, once I upload it and once I hit save, my supervisor can see it on the other end. But if you're going to be running a small business, um, if you wanted to have that same kind of effect where it's kind of like I have something in this folder, go check it out. You definitely want to um, sign up for Google Docs. You definitely want to sign up for Dropbox. You may even want to sign up for Google Suite because you have more of a memory in Google Suite. Okay. Um, the next thing you want to think about is definitely having an email. You want to have an email designated for your business or for just your uh, at for your your at home employment. So, like I said, for example, for me, I have of course my job issues a um, email, but I also have another email that is pretty much similar to the email that I have that is just for me when I want to send myself documents and when I want to upload to Dropbox. So you want to look into something like that because you want to be able to kind of share that information and not even to others, just so much yourself. Literally, I have access to my Dropbox on two of my laptops, and then at work, I have the Dropbox. Uh, add it to my desktop okay something else you want to look into is a filing system or some type of organization box or organization bin or something like literally for me i have three i have one for go jimmy fit i have one for one for pretty chicks invest and i have a bigger bin just for work stuff only okay because a part of having your at-home business is that you're going to have to you're responsible for your own organization nobody at your job is right so you want to have some type of filing system, some type of organization system so that you know where things are, you need to go access it, boom, you know where to go. 
okay? Um, the next thing you're going to definitely want to get is a um, some type of whiteboard. I have a whiteboard over there that is for my own personal goals and for work. And then I have this butcher paper, which is for Go Jimmy Fit and Pretty Chicks and Bass. Okay, so you want to have a whiteboard, butcher paper. This is so that you can keep yourself on task. So you can know what you should and should not be doing because you already have the information laid out there. And the last but not least, if you are going to be somebody that's doing customer service, if you're going to be somebody um, doing some type of recording, you definitely want to, may want to look into a headset because when you're typing and it's so hard to listen with like, you know, you got an old school phone and you're listening, you want to be able to type and have a headset and just listen and type it and get it done. Okay. And the last but not least, I brought up a phone. That was something else that I had to do when I was, um, you know, talking that information with my supervisor. A part of it is that I'm issued a phone from work. But if you have the opportunity, one, go get your own, your own number, okay, for your business, or get a landline, okay. Now I know nobody has a landline anymore, but you need something that's concrete and something that isn't going anywhere. Like for me, my Google Voice number, I think at this point I've had it for four, five years, okay. Um, my regular phone number, I've had my phone number for 10 years. So you want to have a number so that people can reach out to you, people can contact you, and you don't want that to be a burden or you don't want that to be a barrier, right? Because some of us don't want to give out our personal numbers, so you want to look into getting your own number. So you guys, that was pretty much it. That is my whole checklist for um, running your at-home office, whether it's for you to be stay-at-home and uh, work for your employer or just your at-home business. So you guys, I hope this is helpful. Um, make sure in the description below you guys are checking out two things, my business plan, my one page business plan for those of you guys who don't have a business plan, as well as check out the new audio book. I have it in the description below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.